One of Brunel's temple stops was here at Esna, on the west bank of the River Nile, about 65 kilometers south of Luxor. The construction of the temple of Kanum, the ram-headed creator god who fashioned humankind on his potter's will, was begun by Potlemy the Fourth, Philometer. 180 to 45 years BCE. The Romans added the hyper style hall, the only part of the temple that is excavated and can be visited today, with well preserved carvings from as late as the third century AD. The temple of Kanun today sits in a nine meter deep pit, which represents 15 centuries of desert sand and debris accumulated since it was abandoned during the Roman period. Most of the temples similar in size to the temples of Idfu and Dendara is still covered by the old town of Esna. A key connecting the temple to the Nile was built by the Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius. He's famous, isn't he? Common Era, 161 to 180. The central doorway leads into the dark atmospheric vestibule, where the roof is supported by 18 columns with wonderfully varied floral capitals in the form of palm leaves, lotus buds and papyrus fans. Some also have bunches of grapes a distinctive Roman touch. The roof is decorated with astronomical scenes while the pillars are covered with hieroglyphic accounts of temple rituals. Inside the front corridors, corners, besides the smaller doorways are two hymns to the Kanum. The first is the morning hymn to awaken the Kanum in his shrine. The second is a wonderful hymn of creation that acknowledges him as a creator of all, even foreigners. All are formed on his potter's wheel, their speech different in every religion, but the Lord of the will is their father too. Inside the temple I found it atmospheric, devoid of many people, and the colours of the pillars were fascinating plus there was a riot of colors embellishing the ceiling so this is one of brunel's temple stops